So you guys, I want to bring y'all this video on John Morant and talk about a few things such as giving y'all a part two on my previous video I made on him that was titled She Exposed John Morant. If you have not seen that video, make sure you go check it out. I will put the link in the description box below. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel, leave a like on this video as well, and also press the notification bell for future updates. Now let's get to it. So before we finish off this entire situation, let's just talk about on what's currently going on with John Morant on the court. So we all know the Memphis Grizzlies just finished off their regular season by being in the second seed, holding a 51 and 31 record. If you guys are not informed, John Morant is definitely ready to make a huge postseason push because he just recently tweeted out postseason with the berry emoji. And he also finished off his regular season by averaging 26 points, eight assists, five rebounds, shoot a 46 field goal percentage and shooting 30% for the three point line. So he had a real good season. It's just the only downfall he had was getting in trouble earlier throughout March, which led him to get suspended for eight games. And on top of that, it caused his season averages to go down, which kicked him out of the MVP race. So hopefully he can make a big comeback in the playoffs to help his team compete for a chip. So the reason why I'm bringing y'all this video is because I want to give y'all an update and also a part two on my previous video I made on Jaw that was titled She Exposed Jaw Morant. So like I said in my latest video, this girl named Sanyuski, which is her actual social media name, but we're going to call her Sani. Basically, she decided to DM me about her and Jaws' situation by writing an entire paragraph in her notes, including showing me her messages she had with him as well. So when you go over the paragraph she sent me, she wrote, Your boy John Morant has been texting me for four months back and forth. He added me to his close friends and his finsta, and out of nowhere, he took me off. I saw he was unliking all my pictures, so I confronted him. He lied and said he didn't unlike the pictures. I blocked him off my phone and he started messaging me on IG, sending me all the pictures he had liked. He denied it again, but when I checked his likes were gone. So I had a feeling he was doing it over a female. I went and found out he's messing with some girl from Ohio named Maselli. So I saw he commented under her picture and emoji and I commented back to him and I said, get out my DMs, you're sick. Then that girl messaged me from a fake page asking for all the tea. So basically what Sandy is saying is that Maselli decides to message her off of a fake page to get some information on what she got going on with John Morant. So Sandy then sent a screenshot on what Maselli DM'd her on a fake page and this is what she said. The first message she sent was, girl what happened? Sandy then responded saying, what you mean? Maselli then replied back saying, girl I seen your comment under their picture of the other girl John F with. So as you can see, Maselli was definitely trying to get some information on what they had going on. And on top of that, you could tell that she was trying to act like that was not her at all. But here's the thing. Right when Sandy saw the message, she immediately knew it was her and did not reply back. So when you go back to the paragraph she wrote in her notes, Sandy then said she then went on Twitter and started subbing me and claiming him publicly. So basically, Maselli was just claiming her territory with y'all and telling Sandy to back up. So check this out, Sandy didn't show the actual tweet on what was originally said and she also left out some of her replies to Maselli as well. But when you read the comments under the tweet, Maselli decided to respond to Sandy by saying, girl ain't you the one under my pics, that's foolery with multiple O's. F with the N in peace, F is I bringing that to my page for, that is actually very out of pocket of you. Maselli then replied under her own tweet by saying, and for the record, I ain't claiming S. So she clearly was feeling some type of way about her. Sandy then put in her notes by saying, so I snapped and responded to her on Twitter because she kept deleting my comments and messaging me from fake pages. So that makes sense on why we couldn't see Sandy's responses to Maselli because it looked like Maselli was tweeting to herself. So Maselli was clearly deleting her tweets. Sandy then added, we started going back and forth on Twitter and she threatened me a couple of times back to back and involved her friend and cousin. So when you go back to Maselli's tweet, after she made that comment by not claiming jaw, this girl named Frida, I guess was her friend or cousin, I'm not 100% sure. She then responded to Maselli as well by saying, who me? Question mark. I'm confused. I don't be in his DMs. Maselli then responds to Frida's tweet and said, she's talking about me, Frida. She wants me to know he's in her DM and trying to fly her out like that's any of my concern. So further throughout the comments, all three of them were just going back and forth and just arguing with each other. And like Sandy said, Maselli was deleting some of her comments while they was arguing. That's why you can't see all of her replies. 
So Maselli then decided to ask Sandy and Frida and she said, are you dumb? There can never be any people of mine. You're literally irrelevant. Like your comment didn't even strike a nerve for me. You're insane. Sandy then responded to Maselli by saying, you're responding paragraphs. I know you're pulling your pea hairs right now. And she then put the clown emoji right after that. Frida then responded to both of them in the comments by saying, sweetie, that was then, I'm over it. Once I saw how he moved, you can have him anything I said, I'm sorry, and it will be deleted. You going back and forth with fans as a niece of a Hall of Fame basketball player, not a good look at all. That's sad he have you doing that. So it seems like she was talking about Maselli, but that could apply to both of them. So right after that, Maselli still responded throwing shots at Sandy by saying, cut it out, not you being a hater with multiple R's. It's you stalking me. It's okay, girl, what's really your problem? So right after that, Sandy then said to Maselli, it's okay to be a fan, B. I got plenty of us on my page. And she put the last part in all caps. So when you finish off on what Sandy wrote in her notes, I posted a screenshot of Jod texting me and accidentally posted his number and he got my Twitter reported. And today all my photos on OnlyFans were leaked. I'm only giving you this information because they're doing everything possible to make me look crazy and shut up. I don't think it's right and I don't deserve this. So she definitely was feeling some type of way. That's why she decided to send me all this information. And to remind you guys, this is strictly entertainment. It's just so funny just because they clearly was beefing over Ja Morant. We all know how Maselli feel about Ja. She literally would do anything for Ja till this day because she really do like him. And for Sandy, you could tell that she was trolling the whole time and not taking this situation serious at all because she already knew what was up. Even in the DMs, she was telling Ja to get out of her DMs and call him sick. She would just disrespect him, wasn't even taking Jaw serious at all. But she knew Maselli really do like Jaw, so of course she was pushing Maselli's buttons. But the reason on why Sandy started to feel some type of way, because like she said, Jaw ended up getting her Twitter reported, and on top of that, her OnlyFans got leaked out around that time, and I guess she was trying to keep it on the low around that time. And you guys, I even found an article when people were talking about Sandy and Maselli's beef over Jaw Morant, and this is what this person said. She said, this goes to show that some men just ain't ish. I low-key feel bad for Maselli, but she did it to herself. She really embarrassed herself over this man for months. She met this man once and she allowed him to play game on her. She was fighting over him with Sandy Yu. All she had was text messages in a wet A. I hate seeing women go through this with a guy. Now, okay, we all know John Morant is an NBA player. Now, I understand what she is saying about Maselli. Okay, that's all Maselli. She's a grown woman. If she want to keep messing with y'all, that's on her. And on top of that, she got a child. She makes her own decisions. Nobody is stopping her. Even Sandy already knew the game. That's why she was making fun of Maselli the whole time. She was literally trolling her throughout that entire beef. Like, come on now, let's get serious. I definitely want y'all to leave y'all comments and opinions below on how y'all feel about this. I thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe. Make sure you press the notification bell. T-Game, we out.